Tay Marker, Minions, The Rise of Gru review, guys. Let's get right to it. Let's talk movies. Action. Good night. Good night. Yes, yes, yes. Good night. Good night. Yo. Ah. <laughs> What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk? I'm Ryan, DA Killer Ryan 680. I'm Angela Dakarian. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys. You bring the movie world right into your ears, devices. Angela, what movie are we reviewing today? We're reviewing Minions, Rise of Gru. <laughs> Minions, The Rise of Gru, man. What? A spinoff of a movie, of a franchise, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, man. I mean... If someone would have told me, like, okay, Despicable Me, Despicable Me 2, Despicable Me 3, and then they're going to make a spinoff, I would have I would have been like, really? Do we really need it? Yeah, we do. We do really need it. And I feel – and then it's weird how deep these movies have gotten to a sense to where you care about Gru. You care about the antagonist. You care about why he became a villain. You care about all these different – situations that you never really thought you would have cared about in a in a particular animation movie at that i mean so much story here so much stronghold so much different character voices this <laughs> voice cast is phenomenal of course we get the, fam the famous you know uh steve carell as you know as grew again um we have a huge cast in here um you know alan alan arkin arkin you know he is phenomenal i love him and um oh my gosh what was that one uh it's so many so many darn movies i always forget um the the one with the um uh, the bank heists uh going out going in style the going in style I'll put on the comments down below if i get that wrong but it's going in style and i love that movie the way he runs and everything i just yeah he's a, he's a classic community it's funny yeah what you um, think of this cast i mean what you think of this whole movie experience which is funny because i didn't like i knew it was coming <laughs> but i didn't really look into too much of it yeah. beforehand so in the you know we're watching it and they're pulling up the credits mm -hmm. that show all the names i'm like oh i know that person oh, i know that person that's so cool yeah uh so it was really fun to kind of see who was yeah. what um i recognized the voice immediately mm -hmm. taraji p henson she's like one of my favorites bell bottom oh man uh yes. she's yes. the main one of the Hidden main figures. villains yeah love her I love all the cast and i think they really a really great job in this surprisingly <laughs> for an animation it yeah. was fun to hear their voices it and is. they, they, oh, they don't sound like them like them they sound they a little don't. different and i really like that yeah it's it, you know it sounds so really rich and real and it, it's where it's it's where voice acting really matches the animation it's 100 percent on here i feel like i mean we even had danny trail in here like what the hell who would have thought um definitely definitely an experience there <laughs> sorry our cat just literally just is freaking out right now um but yeah i mean my cat kiara i thought she was gonna be a good cat but i guess not <laughs> um yeah so uh you know, going back into this whole story and everything, you know, the untold story of what one 12 year old's dream to be a super, the world's greatest super villain. Also, we do get, we're not going to mention it, but we do get a little connection from Despicable Me movie franchise as well. Kind of completes that whole, tr it's within the same universe and everything. So that's definitely, um, yeah. Yeah. So um, me personally, I, I, again, going into this as a sequel. Yeah. Of this Minions movie, and it's like the what fourth or fifth movie of the entire franchise. Um, yeah. So going into it, I wasn't sure where they would go, to yeah. be honest. I was like a little iffy about it, knowing that there was, this was a second movie. Yeah. Uh, I loved the first Minions movie. Yeah. Loved all the other just big old movies. Mm, definitely, definitely. Um, so, but I really wanted to know where kind of where, where they goes, were going to yeah. take it. Yeah. And so I really liked that they focused a lot on younger group. Yeah. So I know I think it was in the last minions movie that they met him at the, at the very end yes yeah and then they focus on after they met him mm -hmm. and it's just i mean come on it's so cute <laughs> i mean we, it is yeah. so cute like not uh, just the minions I, but yeah I'm, young grew is just so cute i am looking for bob every single movie i kid you not like this this the minions are just so cute they're so adorable and they're really going to be making money for universal studios universal could be making these movies non-stop the way they're going the rate they're going with how they're, they're just progressing with these movies story too i mean granted they are there is a despicable four coming out which comes out in, in about two years from now and i like that too because they're really ex they're really not stretching the story i guess in, in per se but they're really are just really going to the depth on the story plot because it's kind of like i kind of felt like they're not just making these movies to make money i mean they are right but 
in a sense to where they're kind of making it to where like it'll make sense with the whole franchise and trilogy and everything. Yeah, not only that, they, t- they took the time to kind of, like you say, yeah, connect it. Yeah, just like HBO, they took um, their time with Game of Thrones like every two, three years. Or whatever, I mean, you know, it's not things. like 100% like to the timeline. Like there's yeah. a little bit differences from like minions in this one and so i i really like though the development of not just you know we, we get the three main minions we get mm-hmm. bob stewart kevin right mm-hmm. we also get another one that we get you know a little bit more yeah, on auto different which that i really like it's not just that the same three i know there's like a million of the minions yeah. right there's a ton of minions yeah. and then the last one focused on the three but I really liked that they had brought yeah. in a new one that, that was, was the focus too. And he was so funny. He was, he funny. was like the you know, he was kind of annoying, but in a weird sense, I kind of felt like Bob and them and and Kevin was just like, ugh, like this guy's annoying. Like, <laughs> I was just I love it because you're such feeling, a nerd. Was you're great. really sharing that emotional aspect with Kevin and Bob and all there because you're just like. Oh, whatever. Yeah, like, like, you're just uh, annoying. Because he is a little, a little annoying in the beginning. But again, though, it gets cute and gets caring. And emo- it carries that emotional grasp that I never thought I needed in a Minions movie. Um, granted, though, granted, you know, uh, with knowing this came out and everything, you know, I feel like th- compared to the first one, I don't know if it beats for me, for being personal. I don't know if it beats the first one, though, because I love the first one so much. Just because it had a stronger story, I guess, in a sense. Mo- um, most, okay, I'll, yeah. I'll agree with you that I mean, it, most. It, it, it's real cute because, like, even, even the opening movie of the first one was just, like, they're just trying to find their master, how they were c- somewhat created in a weird sense. I love the creativity of the first one so much. And, of course, it hints, oh, we're going to meet Gru, which is totally fine. I like Gru. I love that character. I enjoyed that character um, from a kid aspect, right? Because, I mean, he's a kid. Um, I love that. But the story arc, it's it's minions for me. I mean, if, if I already compare this to the first one, I would say the first one. I'll probably give it a nine. This one, I'm probably giving it an eight. Um, just because, again, it just, I really enjoyed the first one just because the, ma- the <laughs> they were just so cute. They, they were so cute just trying to find a master. Like, they really were. Uh, I liked yeah. the, like you say, the creativity of the first one. But yeah. for this one, I liked how they're connecting it. Yeah. Uh, for me. And I really enjoy when movies connect. Yeah. Especially done, if they're done Love really it. well. Um, so I appreciated that more mm-hmm. in the second film. Mm-hmm. Um, I do agree with you. I do think the second one's not quite as good as yeah. the first one but it's still, it's still a, solid a movie. really yes. good movie yes. uh and it's Definitely. great for families like oh, you know man. families it, are gonna love this movie it's the comedy i i personally am picky with animation comedies just because yeah. i know a lot of them are geared towards small children and that's not the humor i like but this one is actually really good for all the family it, i think all the family yeah will really enjoy the you humor know, in this you know I'll, I'll be honest here um i'm not a fan of you know, one set jokes or whatever. I like to say, that. oh, Ryan, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about those cheap <laughs> ASS jokes that are just annoying and obnoxious and it just throw it. Oh, we're going to jo- make a joke every other sentence. We're going to make a joke or even not even so. We're going to make a joke in every sentence. Um, so to give that to perspective here, was I laughing a lot? Hell yes. Um, <laughs> was Did I enjoy this movie? Hell yes, I did. <laughs> Surprisingly, you know, because um, not to say, because I, I, again, I enjoyed all the Minions all these despicable me's. I would say the second one's my strongest one out of the, out of the uh, uh, as, as far as despicable me goes. It's, I would say the second one's the strongest for me, um, just because talk. You know, it just goes real deep into like the kid. Anyways, I'm not going to go into on that one, but uh, it, it really is heartwarming, and this movie really is heartwarming as well. To a different heartwarming, to a different emotional obstacle here, uh, we see Gru go through, and I love that. I really enjoyed it. Again, uh, had a good story arc, good creativity here. I love the animation. The animation was done very well. Um, the voice cast was a hundred percent spot on. And they man. all did great. They all yes, did they great. All did great. I mean, it's kind of hard to pick and choose. Like it just this movie was probably an eight point five. I would say probably. I know I went from an eight to an eight point five, but it's because <laughs> I, it's it's so close to as good as the first one. But it, for me, for me, in my yeah. opinion. It's not. It's not um, so that's my rating. Uh, was this movie we deserve? Definitely. Are they going to make another one? Now, I with, hope so. With the box office, the way if it goes the way we expect it to go, because of how amazing and how fans really enjoyed this movie as a whole, um, I kind of feel like this movie is really going to hit. Uh, it's really going to hit. You know, the word of mouth, and it's going to make a lot of money. I really, and if it does, as I anticipate, it will. Uh, I could see I mean, probably another one. Because it's a good family film yeah, for summer. It's, who, it's Minions. Who would have thought Illumination creating two different... Well, one franchise, one which is Despicable Me, and then a spinoff of that franchise being as successful as its original. It's just weird. Who would have thought this? I mean, I'll, I'll, give, it to, I, I'll give it to Universal because Disney can't do that. 
uh, Universal's doing it. You can't. They can't. I mean, they're. That's Disney's hard. trying to do that with Lightyear. They're trying to do that. That's but you also to gotta remember, the minions are so for like little kids. Yeah, it's something that not only adults yeah. and young young people can enjoy. Yeah, small children can enjoy. I don't yeah. think small children would probably enjoy Lightyear as much as, as minions. As much, yeah, because of the joke. It's not as much humor. But again, though, it reaches that like kind of like how what Disney was trying to do. I guess what I mean, guys, is that, like a Toy Story, Toy Story, of course, and then the spinoff of that would be Lightyear, but it's not necessarily a spinoff of the Toy Story. It's a spinoff of Andy watching Lightyear as a kid. Again, it goes into the geek side of it, um, if you follow with me on there. Uh, but yeah, it, it, once again... They're the only franchise that's really knocking it out of the park with this, man. I never would have expected this from an animation movie. To For be an animation, with. yeah, sure. Because I can name, I can name one other franchise that's not animation that's been pretty successful, and that's Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, exactly. And that's a, and you that's could also a, argue Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Yeah, exa- I mean, but, that's, but those are adults. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Like those are hardcore, iconic franchises, iconic places, iconic worlds. Knowing that, and now this one is becoming an iconic world, almost to a sense to where, like, are they trying? I mean, Secret Life of Pets slash Minions. Maybe they'll make a cameo in each other, a multiverse. I animation. love Secret Life of Pets. I know it's I such mean, a cheesy film, but I love it. Yeah. It's so funny. I mean, they could it's do. So they could do a multi animation verse kind of there. Maybe, maybe just have them in the background, just like, oh, Minions are saying hello, like how Disney does for Pixar and all that stuff. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless because it's the same studio, and I love that. Keep it on the Illumination, and I love seeing those Minions right before seeing any Illumination film, especially for Sing 2. I uh, love Sing 2. And again, they could all, that's another franchise that's just, Illumination's just killing it, man, right now with those franchises. Who would have thought all their franchises are successful right now? Who would have thought that? That is crazy. To think all of them are, I mean, well, granted I mean, Pixar, but they're, but they're really good. They're not, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like they're not just like I said, not for a, older people, adults, yeah. but for young, small children Crazy. as well. Like it's just, I really liked it. And I really liked this film, to be honest. I really did. Mm. I think it's a great family film, especially for summer. Definitely, kids are out. You gotta go see this film. Yeah. Be sure to check out this movie, guys, at a theater near you. And if you stuck with us this song, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for making us a part of your day. As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. A killer Ryan 680. I'm going to drop that, Cali Oh, did you give your rating? I'm sorry. No, I didn't. I would give it a 8. Just because I really thought it was super cute and super funny. <laughs> I love Bob. Bob's my yeah. favorite. Um, Bob and Kevin. <laughs> But I really enjoyed even like the villains, like the yeah. voices of the villains. I loved like Bell Bottom was great. <laughs> <laughs> Bell Bottom. I like yeah. the randomness of like the Jean Claude. Oh, uh, that was good. That's clever. That was, that was yeah. cute. That was cute. And then you like get away with that. you know like Stronghold. Like it, it's just oh, man, the, no. their names were so clever. They it was so, so great. Similar to their animation, and I love that because that's very creative. Again, again, other people will probably be like, "Oh, that's not creative, Ryan, or whatever." I'll be like, "Yeah, shut your mouth. That's creative. I don't care what you say. That's <laughs> a was- cheese." Creativity Even though. like like the thing like random things like they each have their own little personal transport vehicle and it's yeah. like to their their persona yeah, their villain I persona it. it's hysterical it's lovely yeah, definitely uh, uh, but, but yeah so rate uh, eight I'm an eight point five be sure to check this out guys obviously we do uh, we do uh, average it out a little over an eight so definitely check out this movie guys I'm assuming we talk does recommend this movie if you haven't already hit the subscribe button check out our other videos down below guys thank you so much for making us a part of your day once again I'm Ryan D and Colonel Ryan six eighty. Amanda at that cat and And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Thank you so much. And once again, check out our other videos down below or check out our other movie reviews. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, guys. Peace. Check y'all later. Get up, get up now.